I think it's here. I just saw the FedEx guy pull in next door, so hopefully he's not delivering it next door. All right, oh, he's coming. Here he comes right now. Okay, looks like all the cameras are ready. I'm gonna put on a mask here because here he comes. So let's see if any of you've guessed what we have arriving today. We've been waiting about four months for this. So let's see what we got here, guys. All right, here it goes. Good afternoon, sir. Here it comes. You can leave it right out here. It'd be great. This right there is fine. Oh, yeah. So, here we go. Do I need to sign? Nope, you're all good. Dang. What has just arrived and what I have been hinting on for, well, since October, but in this case, uh, for the past week or so, now that I've had a tracking number, is this little beauty right here. This is called a MakerBot Method X. Now, I've had 3D printers for a long time and actually, became an engineer uh, when I saw a 3D printer in 1989. So, lest you think it's new, these things have been around for quite a while. But the exciting part about this is I've had a 3D printer in my office for a while. This particular 3D printer is capable of things like carbon fiber, high strength, ultraviolet resistant materials, and even has some capabilities with the right nozzles to do metal parts. So, I have just upgraded to one of the most phenomenal things ever. And I say I, this is actually courtesy of right there. My lovely company, Go Engineer. So this is about 90 pounds. I'm gonna grab a two wheel truck and we're gonna get this thing down to the office and hopefully get it fired up today. So, oh my baby, it's on. You know, after a quick photo shoot, courtesy of my wife. I'm ready to get this thing inside. Hey everybody, I'm Darren. It's finally here. Now, I haven't been this re-energized about 3D printing in a long time. And I gotta tell you, Stratasys is coming out with just some great new equipment these days. One of which is the MakerBot Method X. Now, I've been in 3D printing since 1989. Now that takes me back to high school, for those of you who didn't know how long 3D printing has actually been around. And over that time, things move pretty fast. Now, due to circumstances beyond my control, the last time I had any experience with a MakerBot was the Replicator 2. And, uh, you know, in terms of technical evolution, that was a lifetime ago. So even then, the print quality was quite good. And, you know, it was arguably the first desktop FDM printer available. So it has evolved in a tremendous way. And today we're going to take our first step with this because my company, Go Engineer, has provided me with one for my office. And today is the first day I get to start making content to see what this new MakerBot is all about and what its capabilities are. So we're going to start with an unboxing because uh, I've kind of kept myself in the dark on purpose about this so I can get some genuine reaction about how I feel about this because my perception of MakerBot is of those first models and, and really that's got to change. And today's when that change starts. So let's get started unboxing this thing. Now I'm going to keep the shot tight because the star of the show is the printer. So let's see what this thing's all about. All right. Well, the first thing that I noticed is it was quite heavy, which means it's a substantial package. And, you know, the box quite, is quite heavy as well. Double walled uh, corrugated cardboard. Now, typically the tops lift off of these types of packages. So we've got these little spring clips in here and, and this is all reusable. I tend to keep the boxes of everything that I own, um, which my wife really loves, trust me. But in the cases that I might want to transport this, I'm going to go ahead and keep this packaging. Okay, just as simple as that. We take those four little um, clips out of the bottom and let's lift the top off. Let's see if we can get this off in one piece. All right, there we go. Here we go. Shake it a little bit, kind of let it break loose. There we go. A little suction there. All right. 
nice. Okay, let's keep that piece of padding on the top. All right, so first thing I notice is that there's padding all around. We got these four corners, uh, just like a, a large appliance. It's gonna make sure that this thing's protected. You know, with an investment in something like this, um, this makes you feel good about how they're treating your product. So let's go ahead and get started right from the top here. Uh, we got a piece of padding on the top, so that's nice. And that protects a little area that we see up here that has some accessories. So we'll go ahead and get a little tighter shot of this. Um, first thing that we have here is the top, the cover. Uh, it's clear so you can see through it, but it's got some uh, perforations through there. So that's obviously for heat dissipation, heat control. This is a temperature control build chamber, uh, um, of course. So we're gonna wanna have some uh, implicit control over that. Put that off to the side. A Couple of other things up here. Got our owner's manual. Got a flexible tray. This is real easy for getting the parts off. Uh, not quite as much scraping with the, uh, the spatula there as in the past. Okay. Okay, this one says, welcome. Let's remove this lid. It's got the tools underneath. So with that, it's gonna have uh, all these things that come with it. So we've got a couple of nozzles. Um, now the extruders on this one, since this is a Method X, these are the high temperature extruders. So I'll show you each of those. But it looks like we've got a, a little flush cutter tool for removing uh, breakaway supports, a uh, little spatula there, cleaning brush, a few cords. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of these because this is a, a pretty neat thing as well. So these extruders are pretty cool. Um, this is the X2A, so that's gonna be the, uh, the secondary level, the higher temperature type of extruder. Um, the 1XA is gonna be for materials, and this one here is gonna be for support materials, for soluble uh, in most cases. Very cool. Easy to swap out and interchange those. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift off the main piece of foam here, and uh, it's just all glued together in layers, but it's wrapped around really nicely. A Couple of handles on the side. It just slides right up and off really easily. So again, there's all the tools nestled right in their little spot on top. The user experience on things like this. Um, as an engineer, I really appreciate this because it shows you your investment, but it lays it out you know, in a knolling type of way. And those kind of things are pretty creative. Um, it really is just a way to use your packaging to your advantage and make the person who invested in your product excited about the fact that they just received it. And uh, let's face it, unboxing videos are huge these days. So I can see why. Well, I don't think I need these side rails anymore. So um, they just kind of wiggle up and out. That's pretty good. Cool. Let's get those off to the side. We'll just throw them in the box here. Right up here on the top, the two print heads are hidden above a couple of bellows. Okay, so now that we've got the lid off, we get a really clear look at the aesthetic of the machine. And it's quite pretty, actually. Um, simple power button, USB up here in the front for putting in files off of the stick. And then a nice display here for what's going on. Uh, the clear front's got some blue plastic. We'll take that off in just a little bit. But it's a nice hinged door, which I can actually do without taking it out of the bottom foam. So inside, everything is packed well. The uh, build tray can't move. Of course, we don't want that shaking around and shipping. And here it says, uh, let's pull this box out and foam together. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right, with that, easily get the piece of foam out. That's good. Now we've got a great look at the inside. It's really a clean machine. Okay, I really want to take this thing out of the plastic and, uh, and foam, but I need an assistant. So I'm going to go see if I can get one of my daughters out of school for a second. Okay, I was able to get the perfect assistant. My daughter Kennedy's gonna help me. So, come on in. Huh? Okay, so, my trusty assistant and uh, loyal 3D printed rocket assistant. Uh, we're gonna be using this machine for quite a few things, but right now, let's get it out of the package. Are you ready? Okay, stand on up. I'm gonna use this one, and then I'm gonna kick it out with my hand. Are you ready? Let's lift it up. Let's get that foam out of here. Take the foam out. Perfect. There we go. We got it. Okay, there we go. You ready? Thanks. Okay, always pays to have a little extra muscle around. Okay, so now we can clearly see we got two material trays in the bottom here. So, um, oop, little spring's gonna open that right there. Material bay one, material bay two. 
All right, real simple, clean access. Um, feed the material right into this area right here. Wow, that's pretty phenomenal. So I guess the next thing to do is get this thing in its place uh, and fill it with material and get the thing printing. So for now, that's been my unboxing video of the MakerBot Method X. The first in what's going to be many different videos covering this awesome machine. So I want to thank you for taking a couple of minutes and you know, spending it with me to learn about this product. And uh, if you like what you saw and really want to know where we're going to go with this, make sure you hit the subscribe button down there at the bottom. And if you don't want to check the channel often and just want to be told when we put new stuff up there, make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified as well. Anyway, I'm Darren at Go Engineer. Catch you in the next video.